welcome down to the central portion of the ship, central control. We're in the middle of the ship, down below, and here's our steering station. This is the emergency casualty station. This is a, you could say, secondary conning station because it's like third in the line. If you were using this conning, uh, this ship's helm control station here, you had some serious problems elsewhere. So down here, you can't see anything, so you would rely on topside people to relay information down. That would be either at the compass back aft. We need to go look at that as well. And we'll show you where the ship's compass used to be and how they could relay orders down here, either sound-powered phone, bitch box, or voice tube. So you had multiple realms of doing it. And again, the station is similar. You have a ship's helm. You have your gyro repeater and your compass repeaters. You have your lee helm. Again, same setup. And the last indications received was 312 RPMs when she was last used. So this would be the lean helmsman, the helmsman. And again, you would have communications people in here. You would have sound powered phones, telephone, ship's intercoms. And you'd have your MC systems throughout the ship. That would be used for other purposes, but you could be using it for communications as well. To other parts of the ship because if you have no communication you have a point where you could actually feed back and get information to you would use it it would just be switching up so here's your here's your helmsman and not much to see so you'd be paying attention here there'd be no distractions the information coming in and you would steer the ship as needed so Best looking helm spot, protected, and mostly intact. And if you're wondering what this unit is over here, we'll cover it more in depth, but that's the ship's gyro repeat, uh, gyro itself. This is what actually points to true north. So that's another time. Paul will actually come in and give you a full up-to-date on the systems in here. But we just want to give you the focal point of one of the helm stations and the driving of the ship. All right, now we're in the last area that you would be controlling the ship. Now, this is the actual physical control to the ship's rudders. Right now, we're facing forward this way, so the aft is back here. All right. So we're on port side, as you can see, where there's two separate hydraulic ram setups here. And these are the controlling units. The wheels, again, are missing. And this would be shifting from left to right control unit for the port side. The indicators are mechanically linked directly to the hydraulic system. And then in the box in the middle would be your electro electrical display of what the rudder is actually doing. So that would be what would be read up on the bridge as well. That signal is there as well as to every other indicator. So they're actually sending an impulse to each indicator. So it's actual time that's what's going on, what's it actually doing. Given the orders, as you can see, are different here. There are two arms in here. All right? This would be indicating what you're telling it to do and what it's actually doing. So that way you could actually see what's going on with the rudder, not what you're telling the rudder to do and it not responding. Because you got to remember when you're hydraulically pressing on something and what the rudder's doing, there's a slight delay time. It shouldn't be, but there is, and that just lets you know what you're doing. So you're controlling either one unit or the other unit for port side shaft. Alrighty, now here's another spot on board Battleship Massachusetts, which is almost basically center line of the ship and midships. Now we're just aft of the, the mast, the aft main, main mast of the ship and the stack. Now what we have here is the compass platform where the binnacle would sit. The binnacle holds the compass, has the uh, it's all the equipment and gear. As you can see, it's not mounted here right now, but these would be the cables coming to and sending to the repeaters throughout the ship. So they all come up through in here. 
So the problem being why the compass is back here is this platform is made out of aluminum. It's one of the few spaces on board the ship that's primarily least amount of magnetically influenced steel because you actually have the armor director behind us and the armor turrets fore and aft, but this would be the least amount susceptible to magnetic interference to the compass so you get a true magnetic bearing. So that would be set up here. You'd have communication gear set up around it so that way you could relay if you had to other parts of the ship if you lose connectivity between the repeaters throughout the ship and the compass was still intact, you could actually con the ship from here and direct aft steering or the helmsman, whichever helm station was working up in the 08. The actual bridge, flying bridge, or down below in central, or back to aft steering as well. So your magnetic compass set here, and you saw where the gyro was in the other stations. So this area is one of the very few and interesting parts and designs of this ship. For the steering purposes, magnetic compass, and conning the ship, not steering, conning it from here. Now you've gotten the idea of what it takes to steer a battleship and con the battleship. You could actually do it all from down here via sound powered phone and just passing it on if you had casualties outside the ship. The idea is someone has to relay the orders down here to know what you're doing. So you could do it in multiple ways, as you've seen, you can also do it through messenger from above. You could actually have people stationed through the hatches yelling down to do it if all else failed, but you wouldn't, that's extreme. But now you understand the complexities of steering a battleship of this size, or any ship really. Here it's more sophisticated due to the fact that she is a warship and redundancies have to be put in for in cases of battle damage. And you can see it through history of how many ships lost control either bomb, torpedo, or whatever. So we have the whole systems lined up from fore to aft. Hope you enjoyed the information and hope to see you come again. I thank you for your time. And remember, help us keep this ship running. You can do it in various ways. Contribute, volunteer, and in this uh, form, you could like, subscribe, and share. So that way we can get the word out to other people and get help to restore this ship because as you notice, things are missing here and there. And part of our drill is to help restore this ship. And we do it with your help because these ships are your ships and we want to present them the way they really were, the best possible way. Thank you for your time. I'm GMG1 retired Tom Lowney and we'll catch you on the next segment. Have a good day.